to show you what I'm up to today here. I uh, am steaming the rails onto the little dinghy that we're working on here. Now I've already steamed and bent in place the in whales, and these are basically what I call the out whales. So I've got it in a little plastic bag here, and it's Maranti. It's like three quarters of an inch by an inch and three eighths, and we played around with it cold, way too stiff to get it on. You can't get it on there. You're just going to explode it or something. So what we decided to do was steam it, and this is kind of a new idea here. We're steaming it right in place. We've got a little plastic bag over it and uh, feeding the steam in the center here. It's just hanging up there all by itself, right in position, and all we have to do is just actually bend it in. Steam's pouring out both ends. It's been steaming now for about a half an hour. This is actually the first boat that I've ever done this on, steamed in place like this. It was just a quick idea that I had. And, uh, we're gonna to try to use this method to steam very, very heavy planks onto a coronet, possibly, with this method, and that's why we're testing it here. We already did the in whales on both sides. We bent the in whales around the outside of the boat and then transferred them inside, and I fit them fore and aft tightly against the stem and against the stern, so they just cooperate and just lay in there in place with no fastenings at all. The reason why we're doing it this way is so that we don't have to transport it out of a steam box and into position. And if there were any struggle whatsoever bending it in position, what happens when you take it out of the steam box, you start losing your heat and it doesn't bend on quite so easy. This system is uh, different in the fact that we're gonna bend it on with the steam being still generated in the bag. All right, so we're just about ready to bend this guard in place with the plastic bag on it while we're still generating the steam. So after it's clamped in place, it's still gonna be hot. And it's not only hot, it's very hot. So the last thing in the world you'd wanna do is to get this bag to drip water on you in any way while you're bending it. So what I've done was I tipped it up like this and drained some of the water out the end of the bag so at least there wouldn't be a big volume in there. And now we're just about ready to push it in. Now, it's so hot that you can, you can handle it, but you can't squeeze it. The, the heat will become intense very quickly. So I'm gonna put a clamp behind it to even to push it in. You see, then we're gonna push it right in place like that and just capture it with a clamp, like so. It wasn't very neat, but there you go. So now that the guard's been steamed in this plastic bag and bent right around the boat with the steam still generating and everything, we've taken the steam generator off and allowed it to cool down and remove most of the clamps and we're just about to remove the bag and clamp it back on again without the bag. This particular method could be adapted to much, much larger vessels uh, while steaming the plankin, because the plankin can be inserted into the bag while it's still straight and untwisted, and then pushed up against the other plank and allowed to hang at the bow end, say it need, where it needs to be twisted the most, or hang at the stern end and bagged up and steamed right in place. So there's actually no transportation of that plank after being pulled out of a steam box and it has no opportunity to cool off whatsoever so that when you're bending that plank in place, it's maximally hot. And uh, actually, after it's been bent in place, the steam process can continue to melt the lignin even more. And in which case, when you unclamp it, it's gonna have much less recall. And uh, we feel that this method right here is just fantastic. Something a little new, a little different.